Hello, welcome to Black, White, and Gray, a little RPG maker game with puzzle and horror elements developed by Personosphere. It's uh, available on Itch.io, and apparently it revolves around three characters, their friendships, and possibly their betrayals. I guess we'll see what that means. And uh, a little warning: it is a uh, it is a horror game, so uh, disclaimer. That uh, there could be, I believe it says it says on the story page like body horror, a little bit of jump scares, you know, blood, you know, you know, the, the usual stuff. So, be forewarned. Let's start a new game. All right, oh, and we're just starting off. Good. Okay. Can we press buttons? Yep. Any items? No items. We have zero dollars. We're broke. Save the game. Can I make a million files? We can make 16 files. Okay, there you go. Can we interact with any of these items? It's a trash can. There are mostly tissues in it. Bed. It's our table. There's a master key ring. I got the key ring. Wow. Can I run? Yeah, I can run. It's wardrobe. I mean, someone's knocking on the door, but I'm going to make them wait. <laughs> They're very persistent, actually. They just keep knocking on the door in a very, uh, uh, a very consistent pattern. Makeup desk. Another desk. Are they on this door or is it over here, maybe? Well, the back door is locked. All right. Key items. Opens the back, run, and shut doors. Alrighty. Hello? Paige. Okay, so it's Phoebe. Actually, I don't know. I always try to give, like, the voices slightly different tones, I guess. Even though I wouldn't say I'm a voice actor. But let's see. I feel like, yeah, Paige would be like, Hi, Phoebe, I was waiting for you. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. I was taking care of something. No problems here. Come right in. Just don't forget to take your shoes off. Okie dokie. Alright. Phoebe and I have known each other since the day she was born. She's like a little sister to me. She's a bit reckless and a scaredy cat, but that's just part of, her, part of the charm. Is it done yet? No, no, wait. Don't move around so much. I'm gonna ruin your eyeliner. Uh, sorry, sorry. Is it... It's too late for apologies. You look like a heavy metal singer now. It's my destiny. Great. Just, just, uh, just some friends hanging out. Who's it now? Stay here, I'll go check. I'll try to wash off the eyeliner. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Another person at the door. Open the door. I could say no. <laughs> Uh, nah. Well, I can't just let anybody in, can I? That's okay. Desaturated ending. The logical option. Okay. Uh, okay, interesting. So, you know, it's it's the classic ending in a lot of games where he's like, Yeah, nah. And thus, we avoided the main conflict of the story. And nothing happens. But uh, interesting, we'll return to the previous scene. That's nice. That's a nice feature, actually. Some games, you know, don't allow you to do that, actually. You just simply rewind back to the choice you just made. Often, you have to make a lot of manual saves to do that. So that's good. Saves me some time. Let's open the door. I'll look through the people to see who it is. Use the arrow keys to find the face of the person knocking on the door. Wow, gameplay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See the face? Can I look at other things? Can I look around over here? On the right? It's hard to see, actually. It's very dark. The outside looks really weird, actually. I, I, it's hard. Whoop. Whoop. It kind of loops back, actually. That's That was kind of weird. What the heck? This is very strange. Hmm. Well, I see, like, roots? Or, like, I don't know. Very strange. And then just loose back. 
Uh, it's my ex-boyfriend, Newt. Hey, Paige. So you've... Paige, who's here? Anyway, I borrowed the additional study books you lent to Mark. I thought I'd cut out the middleman and bring it back straight to you. Well, thanks, I guess. There's something I wanted to talk about with him, but Phoebe's here, so... I'll get going. Remember to watch your back. What does that mean? I keep saying the same to you. Is that a threat? Okay. Ex-boyfriend. Maybe, you know, not leave in very good terms. Uh, who was it? Uh, Newton. Eh? But didn't you two break up like two years ago? Yeah, we did. We're in the same class now, though. He moved away after we broke up, but apparently his sister found work around here a few months ago. He brought back a book I lent to a friend, not even to him. At 11pm? Uh, Seems kinda suspicious, don't you think? That's not the only thing, I swear. I can see him tailing me on my way, on my way home from time to time. He's always following me from a distance where he thinks I can't see him, but... Even from far away, I can make out a silhouette. And even if it wasn't him, he's just creepy. He's the guy who keeps scratching his arms, right? Yes, exactly. I don't know if it's a, it's a tick or what, but it freaks me out. Until I dated him, I didn't know why he always wore long sleeve clothes. Then I saw that the guy had bandages on both forearms, but they had holes in them everywhere. Yeah, I know. Wait, you do? No, I, I don't mean it like that. I says and I get it. How would I know? Seriously. Oh, alright. Totally not sus at all. You know how houses just make sounds at night? Previously I could go to sleep because I knew it was just the plumbing, but now I'm always on edge. Do you think he's trying to get in or something? I don't know what he wants. I wish he'd just stop. Well, it's about time to get going. I have something to take care of. Are you serious? You're just gonna leave me here, you coward. Uh, you're going to be fine. I promise you. Sure. Bye, Fe uh, bye Phoebe. Good. I should lock my basement door and get something to defend myself with. You gotta get a katana to defend yourself from your ex-boyfriend stalker. Mm -hmm. Should probably get a restraining order as well. Don't know how much that helps, you know, but I always see it on TV, right? <laughs> get a restraining order. It's a trash can. Empty like Paige's relationship with her ex-boyfriend. Uh, it's a cupboard. There's a knife inside. Interesting. Hold on. <laughs> Let me save the game. I don't know if, that is, if this affects anything. I mean, she said she said to the, find something to defend herself. I wonder if, they, if there are multiple options, maybe. Vegetables. Wash your hands. Well, do we need to wash our hands right at the moment? Uh, never hurts to be thorough, I guess. Washed hands. Wow, amazing. He did it. Hmm. Can also go outside. For some reason. Hello? It's a window. You can see the kitchen from there. Hmm. Can go through the back door to access the garden. I mean, it's a nice house, relatively. <laughs> Locked behind steel bars. The basement door is in there. It can be entered from the back, but I need a key from the shed. It's like a giant house, all to yourself. <laughs> well, how does it work, actually? It's like, I mean, this is the bedroom, right? So it's just the, the, the foyer, the kitchen, and this gigantic bedroom, I feel like. <laughs> it's, 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 it's quite big. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe it's not exactly... You know, when you enter through the rooms, it's not exactly the way it's laid out. Maybe there are, like, some transitions that you don't see. Uh, open the back door key? Sure. Why not? Hmm. From the garden is fenced off. Hmm. Go over here. How trash. Trap door that leads to the basement. Has a numerical and simple lock. It is open, but I don't want to go down there. I should find the key to close it. Okay. 
broken table, pile of trash, a lot of trash around here. Can't go there. <laughs> I did check this already. I probably did. Yeah. Over here. I assume this is the shed. A lot of garbage. <laughs> Why are you just leaving garbage everywhere in your home, Paige? You probably put it away. The key to the basement is inside. Take it. I take the basement key. To fit a person inside. You know, whenever you s describe that in a video game, it means you gotta hide in it, I feel like. How's that sound? Okay. Strange noises. Let me just save the game. Hmm. Hello? Hello? Anyone in my home? Double checking? No? Alright. Just double checking where the noise came from. I guess it's not in the house. If it's not in the house, it can only be one place it came from. That would be maybe over here. Yep. <laughs> I understand. I guess we'll just see if time repeats itself. Uh, Elsai Kongru? I suppose it's time we re uh, reconnect. Okay. Uh, bye, Paige. What was that sound? It sounded like someone just left through the front gate. It was probably that guy. To tell the truth, Paige. Newton isn't the only one who's been watching you. He started showing up right after he moved here. I saw him under your window one night. I threatened him with telling you, but of course, I would have to uh, reveal myself as a stalker to you to do that. Okay, double stalking? I, I swear there was like an anime <laughs> that's the that it reminds me of. Where there was like two stalkers. Like it was probably like a comedy, it was like a joke. <laughs> or like there's a stalker of a person, but then a stalker of a stalker. Stalking that person? Anyway. I never met him after that day. I thought I had scared him off. If he's back at it now, or maybe he even... Or maybe he never even stopped, I'll just have to... But no, I can't do that, can I? I'm gonna prove myself to you, Paige. I'm not just a scaredy cat, I'm strong. I'm gonna protect you. Ah yes, of course. Oh, it's him. It's so dark, I'm... I'm scared. But I need to follow him. For Paige! Alright. Stalker v. Stalker. Uh, we can go on the right. Okay. Oh, I can't save, unfortunately. Oh! I went to the left just to see, but I guess we just ended up maybe looping back. So it doesn't matter. Ah! Hello? Has he been leading me in circles the whole time? Does he know I'm following him? He's creepy. The pot, you know, calling the kettle black. Where do you go? Alright. Hmm. It's a window. I can see someone moving, but it's too dark to make out any features. I could probably climb this, but it's spiky. I'm wearing a skirt. This has a risk of making noise. Hmm. Maybe not that way? I, I, there's an option, though. You climb this fence. Okay, interesting. So you climb the fence or climb that. Okay, let me save, actually. Can I also go through the front door? Uh, no, I can't. Obviously, I can't. So we get to choose which one we go. I guess if we go this way, we'll be more silent. Are you sure? <laughs> sure. Are you absolutely sure? Okay, this just goes over here. Can't go in there. Let's go in the shed. There he is. Come on, Phoebe, you can do it. Damn it. Where's that key? It was here last time. I have to hurry. Here, got it. Got the basement key. 
I have to be fast and leave before it comes. Oh god, I'm... Oh, it's just her. You, what are you doing here? Shh, don't be so loud. You should get out of here right now, or I'll... Be quiet. Shut up. Keep your nasty hands away from Paige. I'll... I'll... Huh? What was that? Quiet. I pulled the girl into the old wardrobe. Meh. Be quiet or we're both dead. I swear to God. It's right there. Mm hmm? It's cold. I can't breathe. Not now. My arm is itchy. Oh yeah, he did have itchy arms. Probably get some... I don't know, some lotion for that? Some topical ointment, maybe? I don't know. Stop. Ugh. Prevent Newton from scratching his arm. <laughs> Remember how many times each finger twitches. Okay. Uh, hello, Kokium. Afterwards, you will see a number pad with... Wait, <laughs> this is a complicated minigame already. Afterwards, you will see a number pad with five spaces corresponding to his thumb, index, middle, ring, and pinky finger in that order. Enter how many times a finger twitch in order to proceed. Uh, okay. Continue? Sure, why not? What's the worst that can happen? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Sure. What if I fail this? What if I just go like this? Wee! Whoa! I can't take it anymore. It hurts. It stopped. Did it not hear? Nope, <laughs> bad end one. Fear response. What would you like to do? Jam previously. All right, I just want to see what will happen. I mean, obviously they just die. Uh, the instructions are a little confusing, but I think I get it. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Same, same thing. Okay. So I guess, like this? I assume we do it like this. Correct. Gotta do it again, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like Simon says. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, interesting. Like this, I assume? There you go. Survive! Yeah! Da -da -da -da. Oh. Well, what was that? So itchy. Just a little bit... Oh god, the bandages already have holes in them. Stop doing that, it's gross. I just prevented your premature death. At least don't insult me. Answer me, what was that? Well, who do you think? A monster. Yes, but why? Uh, from where? If I said Paige has something to do with it, you wouldn't believe me, right? Well, no. And to be clear, I'm still going to tell her you were here. Stubborn as ever, I see. In that case, I have an offer for you. You want to know everything about Paige, am I correct? Well, yes. And you're dying to know what's in her basement, yes? Just as I thought. The basement isn't only locked by this key. It is also protected with a numerical code. It has ten digits, so you really have no hope of guessing it. Other than Paige, only I know this code. If you keep your mouth shut, I'll show you what's inside. Well, what do you say? Do you have a deal? I... I accept your offer. Good choice. One, one more thing. Paige doesn't use the basement key. Oh? Or at least... She left it unlocked the last time I saw, which just was this morning. Is that so? 
then we should just leave the key here so we don't attract their attention. Oh. Okay. As for the monster, we just have to go about our business quickly and quietly. I made the mistake of climbing the steel bars on the right side of the house. That's why it was following me. Hmm, interesting. Well then, let's get this ball rolling, shall we? Phoebe is now following you. Yeah, because uh, there was a choice for Phoebe to go on the right. So I wonder what happens if she did that, actually. Hmm. Well, we'll, we'll check later, I think. Because I don't want to be in a situation where I'm like, you know, uh, going through multiple timelines, I guess. You know, it seems like this game might have different, maybe different routes, depending on your choices. Sometimes they lead to just bad ends, but sometimes they might lead to like a whole different situation. I guess we'll see. For now, let's just continue as we are. All right. In that wardrobe. I guess we left the key back in there. So this is when Paige was still like in the house, I imagine. You know, we did play as Paige. And then she came around and got the key, right? But, or rather, you know, the key was left there. So she wasn't alerted to anyone else sneaking around her house. Hmm. Brick and table and some trash. A lot, a lot of trash. Okay, and I guess we can go inside here. What is this? You're nothing, it's just a divot. Let's go in here. No turning back now. Enter the code. Yes. I cover the number pad with my hands so the girl can't see. Oh man. Just be sure I intentionally put wrong numbers in some spots and correct them in random order. You know, just like when you're entering your, your pin, you know, when you're like at the bank or something. Or like uh, the ATM. Hmm. Uh, almost done. All right, that's it. I'm also completely oblivious to what's behind me. Ladies first. Wait, behind you. What? Mm -hmm. No. Why now? I'm so close. It's cold. I can't breathe. It's over. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I can't. Not until... Numb. Where am I? I slowly regain my senses. Am I still alive? As I tried to sit up, I felt it. Something was coming out of my forearms. The outgrowth stretched across the room, covering every inch. The grim sense of deja vu washed over me. Just like two years ago. I looked at my hands, pressed against the cold surface of the operating table by the weight of the tendrils. This was the basement. Phoebe sat in the corner. I suddenly felt a flash of pain and the outgrowths retracted. And it was like they had never been there in the first place. Phoebe looked at me absentmindedly. I have to get out of here. Alright, and <laughs> now we're over here. Lots of blood. There's Phoebe on the left and then the mysterious person over there as well. Strange. Save there. Bloody cutting board. Filled with objects I can't identify. Wash your hands? Yes. Ugh. Burns. So many wounds in my hands, but how does this happen? Alright. It's empty. You gotta disinfect your wounds, you know? Lots of needles. The cabinet is filled with what appears to be internal organs. They aren't refrigerated at all, so they must be fresh. Hmm. Okay, just organs in the cabinets, that's all. Nothing nothing unusual about that at all. It's a crowbar. Oh, interesting. Hold on, can I save? I'll save again. 
Any items, actually, that he already has? No. Hmm. Strange creature. Hello? Phoebe is unresponsive. Only her eyes follow me somewhat. Is she scared of me? Strange. A strange? Gross? Bed? Weird basement with lots of blood and organs and prison? Hello? Can I not interact with this thing? I don't know what this thing is, even. I want to know what that thing is. It looks like Phoebe, maybe? But, like, obviously with, um, you know, Dr. Uh, you know, uh, what was his name? Dr. Octo? Or whatever, you know, when, from Spider-Man. He has, like, freaking, like uh, mechanical arms coming out of his back. Anyway. Octavius? Yeah, Dr. Octavius, right? Anyway. Or maybe that's not correct. Uh, the trapdoor is locked from the outside, however. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Well, there's only thing I can do, I guess, is get that crowbar. In that case. Your biggest mistake was leaving uh, Gordon Freeman's signature weapon under this table. There's also a syringe inside one of the drawers. The label on it says hydrogen cyanide. Mm-hmm. Strange syringe. Strange strange. Strange strange. strange. Only her so much. She's scared of me. Yeah, nothing to do with her, I guess. Spot the weak parts of the trap door, red. Then bring the cursor to their location. If you run out of time, the game will be reset. Touch the first red spot to begin. Okay, I imagine you can't really fail this. Maybe. Ready? Hello? Oh, it's invisible, that's why. <laughs> I was wondering, you're supposed to put it in the red thing, right? But, like, where is it? It's right here. Uh, I assume we can't fail this. It says it just resets, right? I'm, I'm imagining maybe... Because I always try to see if it can get bad ends, you know? But if you fail this, then probably nothing happens. The game, you know, explits explicitly says that nothing really happens. So, you know, I'd rather not fail it. Just, oh, I blinked, actually. Uh-oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I blinked! Hold on! If I didn't actually see it. Uh, like, time to do the sweep. Time to do the, uh, Roomba sweep. Because I actually blinked and didn't see it. Okay, it's in the corner now. I was gonna say, though, usually I like to intentionally fail sometimes to see bad ends, but... There's no point in failing this, so I might as well succeed. Hopefully? How many of these things are there? Come on. Okay. Save game? Sure. Oh? You'll pay for this. You sure speak boldly for someone who, who's on the lower end of the stairs. You see, I have the high ground. Anakin. Ugh! <laughs> I dropped a syringe. Phoebe, give me that. Why would she give it to you? She already knows your true nature. You monster. Oh? And did you tell her why I am a monster? This is your fault and nobody else's. See, Phoebe? He's lying to try and save himself. Now won't you be a good friend and give me that syringe? She won't budge. What's in it? It's a type of fast-acting anesthesia. That sounds incorrect. What was written on the label again? <laughs> it was hydrogen cyanide, poison. Uh, dihydrogen monoxide! Uh, hydrofluoric acid! <laughs> dihydrogen monoxide, isn't that just water? I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose water. Uh, it's water! Uh, that's a lie! It actually has dihydrogen monoxide in it! Eh? Why would he keep water in this syringe lying around? Why would I even want it? Damn it, that was wrong. <laughs> I mean, I knew that was the wrong option. I just wanted to see what happens. Uh, I don't know anymore. Come on, you really believe this guy? Do you trust someone who follows me home every day because of his own sick, fetish fetishistic desires? That isn't true, but 
I have to say something I can prove. Uh... Isn't why I was following her. I wasn't the one following her. Paige was seeing things. Uh... You're seeing things. Uh, I could be saying the same. Can you trust Paige when you see what was in her basement? And what did she see again? After the monster attacked you, she escaped down here. Then I captured the monster and told her to watch over you while we went to clean up. The rest was all you, Newt, and she saw. She really believes that? Come on, Phoebe, give me the syringe. Ah, uh, listen to your heart. We've known each other for so long. Think about all the good times. Don't you want to return to that? No, listen to your head. Which one of us is making more sense, even though I said the syringe is made out of water? I am, totally! <laughs> give me the syringe, Phoebe. Give me the syringe, Phoebe. Blah, blah, blah. Give me the syringe! Phoebe closes her eyes and hands the syringe to Paige. I mean, yeah. I kind of knew it because I was intentionally failing that. But I don't know. I'm not sure about the second question, though. But anyway, I see how it is. You do? Face it, Newt. You can't do anything. She's right. At this point, trying to use my tendrils would just give her a higher surface area to use a syringe. Oh, yeah, we can just do that at will? I didn't know that. <laughs> Only if I didn't have it in the first place. It's too late to think about that now. Everything is over. She's blocking the only exit. The only thing I can do now is... Take her with me. Any last words? See you in hell. Hiya! Good people don't exist. Or at least that's what I believe. We're all bad in some ways. The only difference is how many. I think that's okay. It's okay to hate people. In the end, I lived only because of how much I hated someone. I wonder, and if in the afterlife, will my younger self be there to judge me? Did you hear? Hear what? They say there was a crime down my street. The house is wrapped in a do not cross tapes. What happened? They said it was a murder-suicide, but some of my classmates snuck in there to check it out. They said they found monsters in the basement. Don't you think they're just trying to scare you? I don't know. Do you want to check it out? <laughs> Grey End. Sinners. Okay. The Grey Ending. Hmm. Here's the rock music. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know why the rock music is used as, I feel like, the theme of this game. I don't know if it fits. It's just too epic. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. Well, that's one ending. Let's see if we can get some other endings, maybe. Alright. So we're back over here. Uh, you know, going through Paige's little routine. She seems very suspicious. She knows about the whole, like, basement thing. So, she, you know, she's hiding more than she lets on. But uh, this time, let's grab the knife, actually. We didn't grab the knife last time. So I wonder what happens if she did have a knife, you know? Yeah, I mean, you would think, right, while you're playing the character, you would want to get the knife to def defend yourself, but as it turns out, again, she might be a bit of a villain, so actually giving her a weapon it might be a bad thing to do, but I guess we'll see. Now, what happens if I go this way? Instead of instead of going to left? Well, this time, we see the monster just right here. What is... What is that? This is bad. It's really bad. A monster? No, it must be because of the dark. I can't run away. I can't bring myself to move. Is this my punishment? I have to do something. If I just stand here, surely I'll... Wait, don't... <laughs> a lot of sound effects. Good. Damn it, where's that key? It was here last time. I have to hurry. Someone's coming. Okay, so this time Phoebe doesn't actually meet up with, uh, you know, Mr. Newton. 
page? Is she looking for the key? Not now. My arm is itchy. Stop. Ugh. Hmm. Scene number pair, okay. So we do this mini game again. What happens if we fail it, actually? I do wonder. Because Paige has a knife. <laughs> so I wonder what happens if we fail it. I'm curious. Scratch, scratch, scratch. You know? Scratchity, scratch, scratch, scratch. Is she not here? No. You aren't going to open it yourself, huh? I have you know, this is legally self-defense, Newt. And everything could have gone so well if you just decided to stay. You know what they say, right? Curiosity killed the cat. Ow. Okay, bad end too. Naughty, naughty kitten. Alright. I did want to see what, what would happen if I failed it. Let's go back. Alright, so we do this again. Pay attention. Mm -hmm, pinky. And index. Is it always the same? Is it random? No, that's different. Ring, ring. Ring, ring, thumb, pinky, thumb. There you go. Survive! Yeah. And it's basically just Simon Says. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, someone's getting murdered. What was that? I waited in the closet for a while. Paige eventually came back with the key, and promptly left again. Hmm. I mean, I guess... We can choose to take it? I don't know... I don't know. Well, what if we don't take it? What happens then? Can we choose not to take it? Yeah, okay. We still need the actual key. But there's blood. Whoever this was, by the amount of blood, it's reasonable to assume that they aren't alive anymore. However, there's no body. I guess we'll get the key. Got the key. Can you go in here? Can you leave? Can you just go home? No, I guess not. Just as I thought, the code is the same as two years ago. I'm going to show the world what you did to me. Okay. So yeah, there's some kind of implication that Paige did something to him to make him really itchy and to maybe have like tendril powers. I don't know. Don't worry about it. I'll fix it in no time. You're a liar. I don't have a degree in biology for nothing after all. <laughs> I guess if you're, if you're a biology major, you can just make monsters, I guess. I didn't know he could just do that. I know that now. Does it hurt? Just a bit. Newt, you suck at lying. How did it feel? Well, it's technically, uh, homeopathy. Homeopathy? 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. Don't tell anyone, though. It might not exactly be legal. How did it feel to lie to my face? Eh, side effects? There shouldn't have been any. It's too late to change any of that now. It's not what you think. Newt, do you seriously I believe I'd do this to you? You're leaving? I'm sorry, I won't let that happen. I've been holding it back for too long. I think it's time to unleash the monster you created. Super tentacle powers, I guess. I don't know. Uh, hey, expand by the way. Pick the wrong path in our lives. I don't know what we mean by that, but I do know there's different, you know, endings in this game, and some of them are bad endings. 
Uh, nobody believed me. I'll make them see. You know, just like that game. What's it called? Was that game that had like a, uh, like a superhero? Well, not really a superhero. Kind of more like an anti-hero. Uh, that had like weird like tentacle powers that killed people and jumped around. What's it called? Uh, I think it was on the PS3. I've completely forgot. I can't remember. It's on the tip of my tongue, but you know, it's like this open world game where you just murder people with like, you know, tentacle powers. I'll make you pay for what you did. Even if I lose myself. There's no other way. Goodbye. Hey, Paige. I've come back to finish what I started. Okay. Fade to black. <laughs> Did you hear? Hear why? They say there was a crime down my street. I was rapping to do cross tape. Da 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 da. Okay, this is the same dialogue. Uh, they say there was a murder, but the criminal was never caught. One of my classmates says she saw two monsters leave the building. Looks like he's just trying to scare you. I don't know. You want to check it out? Okay. Hmm, what does that mean? Black End. Revenge. Okay, so that was just him, like, unleashing his powers and, I guess, successfully killing Paige, is what happened. Hmm. Black ending. So we got the gray ending and the black ending. And well, you wonder what the white ending is. I guess we'll see. I wonder what other combinations we can do. Or, hmm. Let's try and think. Because it seems like, yeah, if we make uh, Phoebe go to the right, she gets killed. So no matter what, we end up in that route, I guess. Hmm. Alright, so we're back here again. Let's see, you know, Paige technically has a knife in this route, but I guess if we just choose the same options again and basically fail it, I don't think much would change, right? I imagine. Like, if she, if Phoebe gives the syringe to Paige, then, you know, nothing really happens. She just wins. What happens if we just do it correctly this time? Uh, let's say it's hydrogen cyanide, you know, because that's what it is, actually. That's a lie. It actually has hydrogen cyanide in it. Now why would I have a lethal injection just... It actually says that on the label. God, you bastard. Ah, uh, I don't know anymore. Come on, you really believe this guy? Do you trust someone who follows me home every day because of his own fetish... Thick, fetish... Fetish... I can't say that word, actually. Fetish... Fetishistic desires. As in true, but I say something I can prove. Um... I chose Paige was seeing things. That was wrong. I think this one's wrong too. Let's try this one. I wasn't the one following her. Phoebe, we both know you were the one following her home every day. What are you talking? Uh, what are you talking about? So you really didn't know it was her. That sounds like bullshit. No, he's right. Eh, but why? Because, because. Let's not get into that to my let's not get into my sexuality right now. No, uh, let's not get into that right now uh, Come on Phoebe give me the syringe uh, Listen to your heart. We've known each other for a long time. Think about all the good times No, listen to your head. Listen to your brain Give me the syringe. Give me the syringe yeah. Hopefully this time Phoebe closes her eyes and looks at me. Hooray. We change the timeline. If I give it to you, will you kill her? Ah, well, I mean, yes. <laughs> now, do I tell the truth here? Uh, because if I say yes, she'll probably not give it to me. So, what happens if I do? S I mean, <laughs> yes. She has only done wrong to me in her life. Give me one good reason not to. Phoebe, you can't be serious. Phoebe goes blank for a second, then pulls out the end of the syringe, pouring its contents on the, onto the ground. Do as you will. Well, how does it feel? Cack out your tongue? Well, 
What will I do now? Tear you into pieces? Wash the floor of your dead body? Look at your face. Are you scared? Because you should be. Just kidding. I have to admit though, that felt really good to say. You want to know what I'll actually do? Put you in that cage over there and call the police. Because I have evidence that I can use without incriminating myself now. At last, all tales must come to an end. Phoebe, you should really come with me unless you want to get wrapped up in this mess. Okay. Oh, okay, I guess that's a good ending. And the seasons are changing again. What will you do now? Me? Hmm, good question. Probably try to finish college this time around. Okay, I'm gonna get an education. Get a biology degree and start making monsters. Now, um, what about you? Same thing, I guess. You're gonna miss Paige, huh? Maybe. That's okay. I think I'll just try to find a healthy relationship. <laughs> can't say I can offer you that. Or can't say I can offer you that. That's not what I meant. Yeah, I got it. Just make sure you're nice to whoever you end up with. And don't stop them this time. I don't know. I'll we'll have to go home and cook dinner. <laughs> you know, this is a very casual ending. Hey, by the way, I'm just gonna, like, oh, cook dinner. But you can cook. My sister works to pay the bills, so I have to do my part. Just let me try it sometime. We'll see. That sounds like a no. Answer me. Alright. Very cliche, like, I don't know, like, happy times ending. Uh, white end. Karma. Okay. Alright. That's it, I guess? That's the good ending. I don't know if the decision at the end mattered, you know, whether or not we're gonna kill her or not, but, you know. Because it seems like, you know, we don't actually kill her anyway. Hmm. There you go. I guess that's it. There you go. Uh, I'm trying to think as well. If there's anything else that would affect the endings. I don't know. Alright. So I think we got all the endings for this game. I believe I got the the two bad endings, the fake ending in the uh, in the beginning, and the black, white, and gray ending. So I think that's all the endings that are available in this game. I was wondering about the knife. I don't know if it matters actually, the choice of the knife, if, you know, it affected anything. It didn't seem like it did actually. Um, so I guess the knife was just a red herring. But also the... Uh, what was it? The the ending at the end, you know, whether or not you want to kill her. I think that also doesn't, you know, that affects nothing as well. So I think we all, we got all of the uh, outcomes that we could get. And there you go. That's the that's the game. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Doge Taco, but uh, we're done with this game. So yeah, let's just give my final thoughts. Um, it was interesting, I guess. Pretty short, I would say. Uh, but you know. I guess it was a little intrigue, a little mystery. It, I, I remember the store page, they advertised, you know, how it had like little mini games. I think the only mini games that this game had was the whole finger twitching thing and the crowbar, as far as I remember anyway. I don't know if there's any other mini games that I'm forgetting. There's only two. Uh, the finger twitching thing I kind of liked actually, because it's kind of thematic of the game. You know, I kind of like, I like it when they break up like a, a story heavy game with some like mini games that actually, kinda, you know, affect the affect the story but um what was it the uh the crowbar thing i don't know i felt that that was kind of boring i don't know i didn't really feel like i'm hitting something with a crowbar i felt that was contrived but whatever who cares you know but but you know for what it's worth i, I think it was a pretty okay game um yeah i'm, I'm just trying to think like anything that stood out to me hmm I, I like the uh, perspectives, actually. Yeah, I found that very interesting, actually. Uh, how we, like, switch characters and everything, and, like, things are happening simultaneously from different characters' perspective, you know? I guess it wasn't that complicated, but I, I like that, actually. I like the way the story was told uh, using that narrative tool, you know? So th that was that was pretty cool, I would say. But there you go. I think that's it for Black, White, and Grey. Uh, for those of you on YouTube, if you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch, so check me out over there if you're interested. I also have other games, or rather other playthroughs available on my channel, so you can live with those if you want. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.